Hi Libra, this is Marishi and my channel Suluka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Libra's out there, some of the rising Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Libra's out there. Libra's out there. Just one last time. All right. Leave in something. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is this one. You got the Knight of Wands. This is a very passionate energy. Ooh, along with the Knight of Swords. So somebody is deciding to charge in. Okay, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Very passionate energy, a very uh, fast moving energy. Like now, I got to do it now, that kind of energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion or a Sagittarius or a Taurus or a Gemini. All right, someone is willing or ready to take action. There is this energy about reaching out, okay, with the Knight of Swords. It's a communication energy as well, like abrupt energy. Leave in there. what is your next card, please? This one. You got the King of Pentacles. You've taken your own sweet time. The third night. All right. We have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. The reason why you're charging in like now, now, now is because you took your own sweet time. You took your time to reach this decision to charge forward. Okay. Uh, with this King of Pentacles, you've contemplated this decision for quite some time. You waited. You are assessed the situation. All right. So it's it's not like abrupt, you know, without thinking kind of, uh, uh, you know, action. No. You've thought this through. You took your own sweet time. All right, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. What is your next card, please? Libra in South. Your next card is the Five Cups. The center of the reading, Five Cups. There is so much um, regrets. This card is, um, speaks about crying over spilt milk. Yes, but then you're still um, convinced that you can tame the situation. This is a woman who is taming the beast. So there is this energy about, uh, you know, you, you can control the situation. Even if things have fallen apart, things have slipped out or, you know, uh, it didn't work out. You still feel there is a chance to turn things around. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or probably a Scorpion. What is your next card, please? Libras. Uh, when I showed you the um, strength card, it's the inner belief as well. She has swords. Someone feels very hurt. Someone feels, uh, you know, like you've hurt them real bad, like stamped in the uh, chest. Some of you might be dealing with another Libra. You got a page of wands. So someone is deciding to reach out. Uh, page of wands is a messenger energy. Okay. What is your next card? Yeah, uh, so this is about being vocal. Okay, judgment is like, you know, making that final verdict. That is why I showed you the um, Knight of Swords. Action oriented, but it's about communication as well. Page of Wands, Messenger Energy. Uh, this one, the judgment. If you can look at this card. Okay. I want you to show up. Okay. Uh, things happen for a reason. Okay, uh, when you look at this spirit, 
He's blowing the trumpet. So there is this energy about vocalizing. Okay? And what is it that, what is your verdict? You want to get back together. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, seven of Cups. Highly optimistic. You have your head up in the clouds in regards to this. Because when I saw the uh, Strength card, I was like, all right. You know, even if it's fucked up, you still have that courage to think it's in your control. Yeah? It's like you convincing yourself, I can make this work. All right. So if you might be dealing with a scorpion energy. What is your next card, please? Libyans out there. This one, Three of Cups. There could have been other people, okay? Uh, along with the Nine of Swords. There could have been a third person or multiple people. Because the King of Pentacles, is, this is your energy. You might have been involved with other women or people, okay? Uh, and I want to say, this came in between the two of you. The person whom you have lost, uh, it is because of the third party, all right? And now you regret it, okay? Because there is so much anxiety or, you know, you're thinking things over, like, what did I do? That kind of a situation. Okay, Nine of Swords is like, you know, losing your sleep over this. You're kind of depressed as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably a Cancerian. All right. What is your next card, please? Get this energy of a player. Okay, when I'm looking at the King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Because uh, even this person is uh, crying over spilt milk. Uh, the Three Cups which is fallen. Okay. You, you are understanding. These people weren't worth it. That's why along with these three cups, three of cups, came the nine of swords. Like it wasn't worth it. You lost someone because you were focused on these people. Okay. Which was complete waste. You weren't focused on the relationship which you had. That's the two of cups here. Okay. So uh, yeah, now the regrets. But the thing is, fire swords, you are willing to fight for this. Even though the person whom you're dealing with has walked away, is, is not in contact with you, you are still uh, putting up a fight, okay? Uh, kind of a lost battle, but still, you're not giving up. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. <sighs> because you see this person as a star, okay? You, you, you might be dealing with a person who's a healer, all right, uh, uh, because, yeah, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Mm. Uh, somebody who's in the spotlight as well, yeah, star in the limelight. There's another card which wants to show up, which I lost. I just lost the card. Eight of Pentacles, you are working on this. You are working on um, making things right, all right. Let me see. Uh, Aquarius energy. Virgo energy. Some of you might be dealing with a what? Yeah, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You are working on this. You might be seeking the help of others as well. To make it work with this person who has... Uh, who has left. Yeah. What is your last card, please? Leave it out there. What is your last card, please? Because King of Pentacles and the Emperor. 
some of you, okay, let me get back to this later. Uh, some of you might be um, in a good position. Some of you might be like, uh, you know, there is this family energy about you. Um, you might be a superior, or like uh, at your workplace, you might be in a good position. People listen to you. You are the emperor in your kingdom. People listen to you. That kind of energy. You, you might be um, uh, established or financially secure. All right. Uh, this is a kind of energy. I might be speaking directly to the Libra or the person whom you're dealing with. All right. But the thing is, the emperor, because uh, the reason why... Um, I'm trying to explain this to you is because of the strength card which came out earlier. Okay, uh, there I got the energy of you know it's it's in your control. Is it really in your control? Hmm? Because you think you can get away with with anything. Because seven of swords is again the energy of deceptiveness, you know, manipulation, keeping things in the dark, getting away with stuff. Okay, you might be keeping things hidden from the other person, this three of cups energy, uh, you might have, and this could be the cause of the disappointments. This could be the reason why you lost the other person. Yeah, that too. I'm just going to, uh, again, strong Aquarius energy. I'm just going to break the deck here. Two of cups, and that's the last card. No, it's, it isn't. What is the card? Ooh, that's the one of wands. So it's almost like hook or crook, you're going to get your way. That confidence is there. Okay? You come out as a very controlling person. Yeah, some, the vibe is there. You know, throughout the reading, that vibe is coming through. I'll have it my way. Okay? You have regrets because you lost a person. When I broke the deck, it showed me the two of cups. Okay, so hook or crook, you are, uh, you know, getting your person back. This is your, um, you know, intention. Okay, and you're very, um, very much adamant about it. That is why I spoke about the controlling energy. Right? You're very controlling. You have to have it your way. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancerian or an Aquarius. That's it. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. That's it for now. This is Marisha. Until next time, bye bye.